Hi, thanks for tuning in to this One Cool Thing podcast on Canvas quizzes, specifically after you have already given a quiz and now you want to look at the results. So after you've given a quiz, you've published it, students have taken it, you'll see when you click on the quiz itself, these three options in the upper right hand corner, quiz statistics, moderate the quiz, and speed grader. Now, um, I use quizzes all the time in my classes. Um, and, and the way I use them is that they are um, graded quizzes, but they count into a category that is uh, ungraded. So it doesn't count towards their grade. Students typically take these after having watched a, a lecture, a vodcast lecture on, on a topic. And so they're directed, we have a habit of them uh, immediately after completing that vodcast, being exposed to that new content, they then will take a quiz to check for their understanding. That's what the CFU stands for. And so here you can see kind of what the question, uh, what the quiz looked like. It's not too long. You can see how I can embed some pictures. Some are multiple choice, some are fill in the blank. And then I have this question at the end, any topics from the vodcast that were confusing that you'd like to be reviewed at the start of class. So before class, I would come to the editing part of the quiz and I would come up here and I'd go to quiz statistics. So here now I can see my average score, which I never really expect to be very high. This is actually pretty high for, for a CFU because it's their first exposure to the content, right? So I'm going to see what their score is. And really what I'm looking for are the, the questions that were hard that they didn't get very, not very many got correct. So this question, okay, they have a hard time. This is common between cellulose and starch. So this is a topic I need to talk about at the beginning of class. Um, moving on down, ooh, this one was one that they struggled with. So we're going to spend some time in class talking about this. So here I can really kind of target my instruction at the beginning of class. So this can be really helpful to kind of gauge. And then um, for these answers, you'll have to view them specifically in SpeedGrader, which I'll show you in a second. So this is a good way to get an overall, which by the way, this is all my classes, but then I could go here and I could break this down into each individual period, okay? Now, if I click on item analysis or student analysis, they're gonna download as CSV files, which are pretty clunky for the most part, unless you're doing some major analysis, say on like a, a unit test that you gave on Canvas, uh, I would generally kind of stay away from those because it just ends up being too much detail, okay? So that's the, the quiz statistics. You can go to moderate this quiz, and this can be kind of helpful because here you can see um, how many attempts students have had, how long they spent on it. Uh, sometimes kids will, like in the case of 37 minutes, he probably started the quiz and then he got distracted and went somewhere else. Um, so you can see you know, who hasn't done it and so on. You can see their score and then if the quiz has already been given and you've locked it, you can uh, ex extend their permission to, to do that, so to take that quiz. So that's how you can kind of get an idea of who's done it. And then SpeedGrader, so if you have uh, questions that need to be graded, this is where you would grade them. Now for the most part, um, all the grading is done for me because I use multiple choice and fill in the blank. So here for this student, and by the way, I can see each of their submissions. Um, I can see each of the responses and the student did uh, generally pretty good, right? And then at the end, I can see, and he wrote no, he didn't have any, any things that he wanted to talk about. So here I have a student who I can see the, his responses. Um, I can see, you know, his incorrect answer. Um, I can see what he what he chose there, and then uh, you know, right here, this is helpful. How to understand different molecules. So he he's identified something that he needs help with. Now, um, all of this is super informative for me as a teacher and can help guide my instruction. But I'd argue this, all of this, is even more pow powerful for him because he's identifying what he understood from his initial introduction to the content versus what he does not understand. So here he can uh, ask questions or pay better attention or go and relearn on his own. Um, it really helps build his student metacognition. So that's basically uh, the related items of Canvas quizzes once you've given your quiz. All right.
Thanks for watching.